वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश फिफ्टीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट द पोस्ट इज मेड ऑफ डॉगलेस फिर एंड हैज डायमीटर ऑफ सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू लोड ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन एंड द सॉइल प्रोवाइड अ फ्रैक्शनल रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अलॉन्ग इट्स लेंथ एंड वेर इज लीनियरली फ्राम डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एट वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू थ्री किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर एट वाई इज इक्वल टू टू मीटर determine the force f at its bottom needed for equilibrium also what is the displacement of top of post a with respect to its bottom b neglect the weight of the post so you can see this is the post that is douglas fir and that is a tree clear and uh, there is a load of 20 kN at the top and there is a uniformly increasing load w that is offered by this soil on this post and this w is equal to 0 at here y is equal to 0 and w will be equal to 3 kilo newton per meter at y is equal to 2 meter clear so we have to find this uh, force that is uh, the force from the bottom to this post and we will also find the displacement of this point a with respect to this point b so let's start with the solution so first we will find uh, the force f so for that i will draw the free body diagram of this post so let this is the post here you can see you have a 20 kilo newton load here we have to find this f this is point b this is point a and it is given that there is a uniformly increasing load clear so here this uniformly increasing load is 3 kilo newton per meter now in order to check since this load is upward so when this load is converted into distribute uh, into a point load it will be like this this force will be like this and this force will be equal to 1 over 2 into 3 multiply by length which is 2 why because you can see that this load is a triangular load increasing load so in order to convert this triangular load into a point load we take the area under this so it will be 1 over 2 this height Three and this total length is two meter, which is given over here. So when you calculate this, it will be equal to three kilo newton, and that will lie at a length of two by three, l by three, from this denser side. Okay, this is the denser side. what we are interested to find out this so we will apply equilibrium condition the equilibrium condition is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so one force which is minus 20 kilo newton at point a that is downward the other force is plus 3 kilo newton that is uniformly increasing load converted into point load and plus the reaction force which is f is equal to zero so it means that the reaction force from the bottom to the post is 17 kilo newton now we will find the displacement displacement of point a displacement of a with respect to b so what we will do is that you can see that the load is uh, uniformly increasing load at every point the load is changing so what we will take we will take the section we will section the post at a distance of y and draw the free body diagram so if i draw it like this so this is your point a having 20 kilo newton load you know there is a uniformly increasing load and there is a reaction force when you cut it over here that this is f y because 
at a length of y this force change and this is the y distance so we are we will calculate this f y the question is that what will be the load what will be here you can see at a length of uh, 2 meter the uniformly uh, increasing load is 3 kilo newton per meter so again for your understanding purpose if i let this was the length y so over a length of 2 meter we have this distributed low increasing load is 3 kilo newton per meter for y it what will be the value so let this is w naught so i will write it w naught so how we will calculate w naught so if you divide this 3 over the length so 3 kilo newton per meter over the length of 2 will be equal to w naught over y so w naught will be equal to the magnitude of w naught will be equal to 3 over 2 y clear so here this w naught is equal to 3 over 2 into y now we will uh, calculate this fy so for that i apply the equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and port force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is minus 20 the other force which is minus fy and the other third fourth force will be if this distributed load is converted into a point load so it will be upward because you can see the distributed load is upward increasing load is upward so and this load will be equal to since this is rectangular so it will be equal to 1 over 2 w naught into y so what is the value of w naught so w naught is 3 over 2 into 3 over 2 into y multiply by the length y okay now we will apply the equilibrium condition so minus 20 minus f of y because force change along the length y plus this this load this load 1 over 2 times 3 over 2 y into y is equal to 0 so minus 20 minus f of y plus 3 over 4 y square is equal to 0 so f of y will be equal to 3 over 4 y square minus 20 and the unit will be in kilo newton now you have this f y so we can say that uh, change in length is generally equal to force into length divided by area into e clear so this displacement displacement of a with respect to b is equal to f of y into dy divided by a y into e and we will take integral from 0 to, to whole length so you can just put the value integral of 0 length is 2 meter so f y is 3 over 4 y square minus 20 into dy divided by a into e so you can take a over e outside because these are constant so we left with integral of 0 to 2 3 by 4 y square minus 20 into dy which is equal to 1 over a e integral of 3 over 4 y square into dy minus 20 into integral of dy and limit will be 0 to 2 so change of point a with respect to b is 1 over a e and 
integral of this will become equal to 3 over 4 integral of y square is y cube over 3 clear y cube over 3 and the limit will be 0 to 2 minus 20 of integral of dy is y which is 0 to 2 okay now you can see that 1 over a e and this 3 will cancel and so we will left with y cube over y cube over 4 and the limit is 0 to 2 minus 20 into y 0 to 2 so 1 over a e so y cube is 8 minus 8 divided by 4 minus 0 minus 20 into uh, 2 minus 0 okay so if you further simplify a change of length change of position a with respect to b is 1 over a e and it will be 2 minus 40 which is equal to minus 38 divided by a e now change of point a with respect to b is equal to minus 38 diameter of this post is given as 60 millimeter so area is equal to pi by 2 t square so d is 60 so in meter it is 0 0.06 square what about e so for e it is given that this made is made uh, this wood uh, this post is made up of wood so for that we have to go to the book and at the end of property table last second last row you have to click it and now you can see that here you have wood clear and here that is given is douglas er so its modulus of elasticity is 13.1 giga pascal so note down this value 13.1 giga pascal so 13.1 into 10 to the power 9 pascal now you have all the value you can calculate it will be 1 point minus 1.026 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter so change of point position of point a with respect to point three in term of millimeter is 1.03 millimeter so minus sign means that point a is moving downward to the downward to the point b and that was all about this problem 4-15 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.